Well, good afternoon, my fellow followers of the way. This is Tell Me More Tuesday. I am Pastor Adam Sullivan, and I'm the pastor here at Mountain View Church in Sultan, Washington, and I'm really glad to be with you here today. This is the place where we talk about uh, more ideas that came from our, our Sunday message. And as we have been going through our series, The Way of the Master, we've been looking specifically at the Sermon on the Mount that Jesus gave. And this last week, we looked at a passage where Jesus tells us that it's so important that our yes be yes and our no be no. We don't need to swear. We don't need to make vows or oaths or anything like that to prove a point or to even hold ourselves more accountable to our word. We simply need to just give a yes or a no. And we talked a lot about that, how we, we shouldn't be a people who need to be asked, do you swear you're telling the truth or you swear you're going to be there or anything like that. We just need to say yes and we need to say no. We need to make commitments and then we need to keep those commitments. Well, you know, I wanted to pull back today and I just wanted to talk about just the simple truth of our yes being yes and our no being no is that we need to tell the truth. I mean, that is just the basic principle that we uh, we build on when we talk about our yes being yes and our no being no is we need to be truthful. This is one of the big 10 commandments is, is we can't bear false witness. We, we have to tell the truth. And so, you know, these things, they, they creep into our lives very subtly. Uh, and sometimes we can find ourselves maybe stretching the truth. We can find ourselves omitting the truth. Or, you know, sometimes we can do things that um, aren't a lie, but they're not the complete truth. And so, you know, I just want to encourage you to be so careful and guard your words, value the words that you give. You know, we're even in regards to things like a little white lie, you know, the classic example is when a wife would ask her husband, do I look good in this? Or does this dress make me look fat? Or does this outfit look good on me or anything like that? You know, and it puts husbands in a tricky situation, doesn't it? Because if we don't like it and we say, no, we're going to hurt our wife's feelings. But is it important enough for us to tell the truth? and and be truthful value our word that we risk that and so you know these things are they they can be tough if you look at them in one direction but just imagine if you will if you look at it from a different angle what if you had the kind of relationship with a spouse with a friend where you were allowed to tell each other the truth you were allowed the grace to give your honest opinion and not just have to think and give what you think the other person wants to hear. Well, that would be a much more healthy relationship, wouldn't it? That would be a, a relationship that would you could value what the other person has to say and you, you could trust what the other person has to say. You don't have to wonder, are they just trying to flatter me? Are they just trying to make me feel better? Well, I would, I would argue that that's the kind of relationship we all want to have. And so we need to foster those relationships. We need to allow other people to have that kind of voice in our lives. And we need to develop those relationships. And you do that cautiously by valuing your word, by not stretching the truth, by not omitting the truth, by not giving in to those little white lies, but just saying and hey, listen, I'm a husband too. This can be a challenge, but to say, hey, honestly, it's not my favorite dress. Honestly, it's not uh, the most flattering, you know? And you may get some pushback, men. You may get some, some tough times there. Uh, but as you develop this relationship with your wife, as you develop a relationship with friends that you're gonna lovingly, tactfully, with kindness, and politeness, you're gonna be honest. You're gonna tell the truth. You're gonna let your yes be yes and your no be no. I think that your relationships will benefit. I think they will grow. And I think you will be a better friend and your, your friends will appreciate you more in time. The first time you do this, they may not appreciate it. But in time, I think they will appreciate your opinion more because they know that you are someone who can be trusted. Well, I hope you're having a great week. I want you to know I'm praying for you. I, if you have any prayer needs that we're not aware of here at Mountain View, I want to invite you to go to our website at mymountainview.church, mymountainview.church. And up at the top, 
there's an area where you can click and you can submit any prayer requests, prayer needs that you have that can be added to our prayer list. And I gotta tell you, I pray for these, these prayer needs every single day. And we take all our prayer needs as a staff. We pray for them as a staff every single week. And so please let us know what's going on in your life. Let us know how we can pray for you because we believe God is still in the prayer answering business. Amen. Well, I can't wait to see you on Sunday. I am praying for you and I want you to be blessed. And remember, let's value our word and let's tell the truth. Amen.